So that's the solution I came up with. Each post is fixed to the house with lag bolts into a six inch stud going up and down. And then there's your height adjustment or your angle. There's my DC breaker box. Yes, it's crooked. It changes when I change the elevation and it didn't reach down here. I would have had to splice these MC4 connectors and I didn't want two connections. So I put it on the part that moves and I don't need a lot of slack because it's really close to the center point. So basically it just tilts the box. And I'll show you my solution and how well that works for adjusting. Check this out, it does not sway. Actually, I'll put the camera on the ground and I'll show you how I can adjust these. Watch this. One hand. Take the bolts, two, two nuts have to come off. Half inch. I got four height or four angle adjustments. I went with four because it's so easy to do. Put that in your pocket. Put the nut and washer in your pocket. Pull that back till it's cleared of this board. Same thing on this side. Now watch this. Show you the four heights I can get. Why do I keep going height? The four angles. I'm proud of this, and it's strong. It ain't going nowhere. This crisscross made it strong east-west. This made it strong north-south. And this adjustment board transfers the top. That's like a windsock. It transfers it down a foot below. Actually, it transfers it almost right to the center point where it pivots was an afterthought but it's I like it so you put the nylon locking nut in your pocket push this bolt out let's do the first angle I have to go back and forth a couple times to get that to line up there it is that's my first angle. That's the one it's probably going to be at mid springtime, sort of thing, near the equinox between the solstices. Pull that bolt out. Same for the fall, like actually this time of year, right now. This adjustment. Not quite there. Pull it down. Probably would help if I had a helper. And there's for the fall. Summer is ending. It's still summertime. There's about, I don't know how many days left of summer. And then here is, this will be late spring as well. And then let's do summertime. Oh. This is in the way. And there's summertime. That's as far back as I can tilt it. Stick your bolt in. Put the nut on, lock it down. This is sweet. It's strong. It ain't going nowhere. So I'll put it back to the proper angle for this time of year. I like this one. I actually put an amp clamp on at solar noon and I adjusted it till I had a peak. Probably shouldn't have even bothered doing that. I don't think that air conditioner is using all that this can put out. I can do this up. You could even do it in bad weather because you'd be underneath the solar panels. I got these tightened up. We'll give it a tap test. Same 
thing over here. This is the angle I wanted at for this time of year. Should just line right up. Over time, over time, this might shift a little. I might have to replace these. All I got left is the 15 amp 120 volt box that I got to install. I'm going to get a permit for that. The wire's pulled. Good to go for another couple of months. Rock solid, baby. There's the tap test. Oh, you can just hear that thud. This thing is engineered, and I can still walk under it. I haven't hit my head on here yet. As long as I stay on the sidewalk, I clear it. And actually what I'll do is I'll get the old lady to put flower pots right here, one in front of each post. That So if you're looking down, you don't walk into it. You have to walk around that flower pot, and then you miss it. Or I could move the sidewalk closer to the house. Probably should do that anyway. You see, see what I got here for the DC? I put my own ends on today. It's an inline fuse because when I ordered this from Amazon, the description says it's fused, but it doesn't say what amperage. It says DC 500 volts. Huh? You notice how it's vertical now? Because this is the angle it's probably going to be at for a third or two, th probably half a year. And I bought this corrugated material from the local automotive store. And I got a drip loop here. You don't want the connectors going like that because water will run down the wire and into the connector. You want it to drip off. And this being corrugated, it'll drip out. And those sections there will be in the shade, I think, all year long. So they're not going to be... Uh, exposed to UV and there you have it let's have a look from over here again watch out for landmines haven't picked up the dog shit today I picked it up yesterday a little bit of shading from that tree it goes right across as the sun goes across but I tested it with the skies like they are and it works just fine it was still running 100% on the solar even with shading it's a series hookup so i could probably buy optimizers so that if that panel is not performing because of the shade or vice versa they're expensive though i don't think i need them we'll let it run for a year and see how it performs thanks for watching